normally this shot is in the beginning of the show. That's true. So true. the ending will be the beginning now of this show. <laughs> so we already know what we're gonna eat or what we ate. Yeah, that's true. And whose fault is that? It's one of the two guys in this car. Mine! Mine! Up? Actually, for me, as a ch as a kid, I didn't really eat that much sushi. I only ate like rolls, like California rolls, spicy tuna. It wasn't until I started working here. Like growing up, did you like eating any no, kind of fish at all? Never, no. 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 What? Why is that? What? I was a very picky eater as a child. But as I got older and as I started working here, my palate just changed completely. This is a uh, ankimo, monkfish liver. It's the foie gras of the sea. It's very creamy, and very soft. And we cook this in house. We cook it in our own homemade broth. Monkfish liver? I don't know about that. Is that is that even sushi? You ever had like foie gras? No, never have. But it's very common in Vietnamese and French dishes. Uh, they used to even put it in like those Vietnamese sandwiches a lot. But this one is a fish liver, so it's a lot different. I'm very excited to try this. I love the richness of foie gras, but it's a give or take. So I had some bad foie gras before. And usually you like, think of liver, it's like pasty. That doesn't sound very good. No, it's like peanut butter, bro. Okay, that sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> like tofu? I do. Oh, you, bro. What? So what is this? It looks like plastic. Seaweed. I just want to taste this to see what this tastes like. Nothing, actually. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very delicious. I'm actually going to have another one because it's so good. This is a uh, takoashi. It's a live octopus leg from Japan. I feel like I'm destroying the art as I chow into my beautiful, ugly mouth that I have. You crying? No, I fell in love with the craft, I fell in love with the food, and ever since then... When you first started, don't you feel like you were like murdering fish or anything? I mean, yeah, I did, there yeah. must have been some crazy experience that you had. <laughs> Back when I was working at Fullerton, we had a Korean chef, and we used to carry a lot of live fish. And back then, probably the most traumatizing was when I had to cut to fillet the live halibut. Oof. And you have to cut the side of the gill and let it bleed out. And I was very traumatized. I stabbed it and it was bleeding out. And I kind of let go of the fish and the fish went crazy. Oh my God. And all the blood splattered all oh over my, my face, went in my mouth and everything. But and everything. that didn't traumatize you from stop pursuing no. sushi. No. But you know what's funny though? As he was talking about that right before he said that, he, he just gulped. He just, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that reaction and I could totally tell Dude, that he was a flashback. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, <laughs> As you guys can clearly see, I had a hard time just even looking at a you know, decapitated head. head, you know, shrimp head. And yeah. I can't imagine you had to literally like, and you, I'm sure you've never done that before. No, I've never done that. Oh my gosh. Wow. But now it's like for you, it's nothing now. It's nothing now. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. doing my eyes closed. You're a murderer. This is a live sweet shrimp boat. But there's no rice, there's a little bit of blue crab inside, a smelted quail egg, ponzu, and a little bit of Tabasco. Come on. It's still moving. It is? Yeah. Dude, no, no. You can. Come on. No. It's not funny, guys. Hey. This is totally uncool. You can do it. I believe in you. Remember the last time? You guys, refer back to the other episode where Danny says you had to be open-minded when it comes to like eating foods. And he said he's down to eat cockroaches. But this is not open-minded. This is completely open-minded. This is like dangerous. He's open. He's open-minded. He's, open he's completely open. Dude, he's looking at me, going, "Are you really gonna eat me, Daddy?" Yes, I am. Oh my God! I didn't know fresh shrimp would be that good. Wow! So you must be really be good with your hands. Yeah. And girls good. like that. <laughs> you need a nice massages too. Yeah, I give good, yeah, good, good massages. Massage. Wow, <laughs> you know that girl? Are you single? I'm single. See, look at that. Are you single? single? I need to learn to cut sushi. <laughs> good with his hands. What? What are you doing here? So, I got out of jury duty, and now I'm here. V, this is Chris. Chris is V. Hi. Nice to meet you. All right. He's too busy. I know. Today, that was probably the best sushi I've ever had in my life. I didn't even know this other side of sushi existed. I mean, this entire Pretty much my entire life, just like what you said, I'm so used to having rolls. Mm -hmm. And that's like our thing, you know, we grew up eating 
it, you know, just these Americanized roles. That's what we start out with, though. Yeah. Like, I think the majority of us, see, me growing up in Gardena, I was surrounded by Japanese people. Mm -hmm. I started off eating rolls first, mm -hmm. you know, like the simple, like, cucumber roll yeah. and or the tuna roll. Like, yeah, I didn't even roll. start off with that. I started with, like, dragon rolls and, oh, like, 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 the Philadelphia uh, yeah, cheese. Yeah, like, like, I thought cheese. that was a real sushi. <laughs> I was like, Philadelphia roll, please. I was that guy, all right? Most places like, are very traditional with uh -huh. their sushi, you know, yeah, very yeah. just plain. You know, but for me, I want to break apart from that. I try to flavor everything differently. Yeah, yeah. If you saw today, yes, every yes. piece of sushi. Mm -hmm. Everything was different. So for you, what is the most important thing about sushi? For me, I have to, it has to look good. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm. Japanese food, you you eat with your eyes first. Mm. And it has to look presentable, mm. uh -huh. and the taste has to come out. I'm just showing people what what my food is all about. I could express myself in my food, mm -hmm. and that's what's the most important. You know, and I just think that was people's reactions. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Food, that's the most important. And I think that was the best part, because you usually like sushi when it comes out pretty like that. It's just gimmicky. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, it's just to kind of cover up the taste just yeah. by making it look good. Yeah. Yours was beautiful, and it tasted amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I mean, really, like, I will definitely bring a lot of dates here. Yeah, you know? it's still, you still kept some the traditional, like, sushi prepping yeah. part, mm -hmm. but also spicing, like, flaring it up with, like, some of the colors, yeah. some of the, like, the seasoning that you put over it. And it doesn't take away from the fish flavor, which I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you go to certain sushi restaurants, you, they, they just throw so much sauce in there, oh, it's like, yeah. you don't really taste the fish anymore. Oh, it's you like, taste the, the sauce, that's yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like pointless, but here, oh my god. It was fresh. It was good. It was, it was like fresh. It was just perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having us. Yeah, I thank come you. back here thank 10 you guys times. For coming. Yeah, thanks thank you. Thank so you. much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back again. We're gonna say, hey, Tommy, we forgot to roll the camera. I know, we did. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to come back again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we lost all yeah, the footage. We lost all the footage. We're gonna have to do this gone. all over. We're gonna have to call V all over again. Be like, please, please come out. <laughs> Even though she's already going, I'm already there right now. <laughs> Next time I have to charge you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Eat while you still can, Tommy. <laughs> okay, let's Eat still while you can. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for having us. Make sure you check out Hashigo Sushi in Huntington Beach. Bomb spot, you won't regret it. Greatest quality, best taste, awesome chef. What more can you want? <laughs>